Yeah, I have a 22. I've just got a bunch of stuff. All right, guys, I am back. And I literally just made a video uh, about this, but it took 14 minutes for me to explain all the ranks and uh, my my familiarization with them. So I'm going to try and redo this and try it. I'm, I'm thinking I, I have six minutes pictured in my mind. I'm going to try and give you guys all the information in six minutes. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Um, I'll just have to go through the video in order for you to uh, see where I'm going with this whole video because it's not gonna be just me ranking off the, the ranks and uh, like naming off the ranks and being like, oh, E1 is this, E2 is this. So it's gonna be me explaining my, uh, um, my personal experience with those ranks and uh, who those people were and eh, not, not necessarily who those people were, but just my experience with them and, uh, and yeah. And uh, just so you know, a little, uh, little reminder before the video starts, uh, this is going to be only for uh, these ranks in the fleet, all right? So during boot camp, you're going to have a lot of sergeants. In, in SY, you're going to have a lot of sergeants and uh, staff sergeants, all right? This is not going to be a... Uh, this is not gonna be explaining what those people are gonna act like. They have a, a certain billet which tells them to scream and tells them to really, really be mean, obviously. Um, in the fleet, it's gonna to be totally different. Uh, it's sort of. Uh, so I'm just gonna be explaining my experience with the ranks in the fleet, specifically. So I know I said this already, but without further ado, E1, all right, privates. What you can, uh, what you can expect from privates, uh, the only time you're gonna see them in the fleet uh, is gonna be the first month of, of uh, getting out of boot camp, or unless they get NJP to hell. So, privates they're either they're either, um, <laughs> they're either uh, super lucky uh, super lucky guys who ended up getting NJP'd but not kicked out of the Marine Corps so bad that they become privates. Um, but so they're they're usually veterans, um, like veterans of like war and stuff. Um, uh, but those are those are only those are some flukes. Usually privates are going to be yourself getting out of boot camp and SOI, not getting promoted, didn't have two referrals or anything, and it'll be your first uh, month in, in the fleet as a private because it takes six months as a private to be promoted to PFC, and you'll you'll hit the fleet after four or five months depending on your MOS. So, you're, uh, you're to what to expect from them. You're going to be a boot. Um, those guys are going to be boots. They're uh, boots is in like, it's a slang term for really newbie and kind of uh, kind of awkward, you know. Um, they're gonna be skinny. They're gonna be, uh, you know, shouting and stuff. They're still acting like they're in boot camp. Not used to the whole fleet thing. So, um, yeah, they're definitely gonna be newbies, and they're gonna act different than everybody else on base. And the second one is gonna be PFC. Uh, that's gonna be E2. Those guys uh, don't get them mixed up with being a being a uh, a, a newbie per se. All right, a boot. Uh, I know a lot of PFCs, or even myself, I did a lot of field training as a PFC, so I, I knew how to do my job very proficiently as a PFC, a private first class. Um, these guys are not necessarily uh, newbies, but they're definitely, like, the perspective of, of PFCs in the, in the Marine Corps is, yes, newbies, but uh, if you're a PFC that's been a, been a PFC for a couple months, and you're especially as a rifleman, you're gonna feel like you know how to do your job. You're doing your job, so you know treat me with respect. But um, your leadership is definitely gonna look down on you for being a PFC. Uh, like they're they're gonna think of you as a noob. But it is what it is. You're only gonna be a PFC for nine months, um, unless you get promoted early. So there's that. Uh, the next one is E3, which is Lance Corporal. Oh my gosh, this is like the giant gray area. Okay, these guys are either vets of like six years, or they can be uh, there can be promoted right out of boot camp if they're a guy which is like in charge of the entire platoon um the guy you know the recruit who ended up getting promoted early um or they can be the vast majority of marines uh, 90 percent of riflemen i would say are lance corporals right you become a lance corporal after what like nine months as a pfc and uh by that time you're a veteran of your craft right you know what you're doing uh and especially once that once that that uh, crossed rifles comes on because you know as a PFC you just have on your collar this is this isn't a military thing this is just a coat that I have but it looks the same uh, as a private you're gonna have no rank insignia PFC you're gonna have a little stripe and a lance corporal you're gonna have a stripe plus a crossed rifles I know veterans uh, who like <laughs> who went to war uh, and uh, came back and stuff and uh, they were making PFC say I lance corporal and uh, they were commanding uh, corporals who, you know, didn't go to war and stuff. Like, um, so, Lance Corporals can be really, really tough vets. Uh, sometimes they're NJP guys. Um, 
uh, as in my my old squad leader he got njp to lance corporal as a corporal um so the, these guys if you see a lance corporal nobody bugs them um or, or they bug them like if anybody knows them they'll know who those people are but just on the streets and stuff lance corporals usually don't get messed with um so th that's about it and the next one is corporal this is when you start becoming an asshole all right so you're gonna see these guys uh corporals they've got two cr two uh chevrons with the cross rifles uh this is when you become a nco officially all right non-commissioned officer and um part of being a corporal is literally having a leadership billet of some sort like a team leader or squad leader so these guys are literally literally inside the rank is a uh, is a duty to be an asshole and that's what you're gonna see uh what to expect from corporals you're gonna have to say good morning corporal good afternoon corporal all that stuff you're gonna have to uh, be at parade rest for them they're gonna be assholes they're gonna be mean um especially as you know i'm just saying an infantry perspective okay um i'm pretty sure it's about the same in the pokes i mean pokes they're they're usually more relaxed like i I, I watch pokes who don't go to parade rest for them and stuff, but still those corporals are going to be commanding them all over the place. And um, uh, the reason being is that this is Lance corporals, all right? Those guys who like just got pinned and now they, you know, they're, they gain some respect. And then uh, while being a Lance corporal for so long, they get promoted to corporal and they just, they let them, they let it get to their heads, all right? These are Lance corporals at heart and uh, they end up uh, just letting that stuff get to their head at least as you know in, in my company and they end up getting uh r they're all assholes okay that's all i can say uh the next one is sergeant which is e5 that, uh, that's gonna be uh in the fleet those guys are gonna be more mature corporals okay it really it really goes like that it, maybe they're a corporal for two or three years they become a sergeant and uh obviously obviously the the rank changes like if you're artillery or something you're gonna get promoted a lot faster than if you're a rifleman because there's just so much so many riflemen there can only be so many uh corporals and so many sergeants in artillery you're gonna be promote getting promoted faster so obviously as a sergeant you could probably get out four years artillery as a sergeant while in the marine corps you'll usually get out four years or in the rifleman uh in as a rifleman after four years, you'll usually get out as a, as a Lance Corporal or a Corporal, which is why they become such a gray area. So anyway, that was a bit of a tangent, uh, but Sergeants, they're gonna be more mature Corporals. They're gonna be uh, definitely not somebody you can just talk to. Uh, they're gonna be uh, held in the same respect as Corporals, um, but they are, they're gonna be more mature. Uh, they're, still gonna, they're still gonna be hounds on you, but they're gonna be, uh, they're not going to be such assholes usually, okay? Their corporals and sergeants are a lot alike, but um, in my experience, they get they become a little bit more relaxed. And then staff sergeant, all right? Those staff sergeants, they are funny, and they are almost always funny. Um, these guys are going to be in charge of uh, platoons, at, at least in the infantry. Um, so there will be four staff sergeants in a rifle company of four platoons. And um, these guys are gonna be, uh, they're gonna be nicer, okay? Like, I say that really weird because it's not like, it's not like they, uh, I see this video is already <laughs> 8 minutes 30, but whatever. Uh, staff stars, they're not gonna be uh, really nice, but in my experience, they know what they're doing, all right? They've been a leader for a long time, and uh, they just, they're they're more relaxed, all right? They, they've gotten over the whole gaining leadership and uh, like this whole, this whole uh, thing about having leadership that gets to people's heads, they're, they're over that. And now they're just, they're really awesome Marines, all right? You, they are veterans, okay? They probably went to war, um, at least when I got in. Uh, so they're good people, awesome, awesome people. They've been deployed um, and uh, they do their job very, very well and they teach you, um, sometimes let you talk to them. Uh, but you know it's it's not like a, it's not like you become a friend with the staff sergeant but they will be friendly to you they'll let you uh come and talk to them in the in private or they'll come and talk to you privately but usually they're they're kind of in the back just kind of uh sorry my video just got uh, published so sweet uh oh i should have done it for tomorrow but whatever <laughs> You guys got a video early. Um, yeah, but staff sergeants, uh, they're going to be uh, usually just talking to squad leaders and stuff and having the squad leaders be mean to us 
instead of the, uh, the staff sergeant beaming us. Um, so what we hear from our, our squad leaders and our uh, team leaders, all right, their corporals and stuff, a lot is that, look, like, I'm being an asshole to you, but it, it really is coming from the top down, all right? Um, shit rolls downhill, all right? That's, that's usually how it goes. So the staff sergeant, apparently, he's the one who's making all the shots and making us uh, hate our lives because he's telling us to, telling the squad leaders to uh, make us do stuff, and the squad leaders making the team leaders go and yell at us and stuff, and it just keeps rolling downhill, so... I don't know. From my experience, they're pretty chill. What is? Uh, the next one is going to be Gunny. And uh, the Gunny is going to be... Okay. There's going to be usually one Gunny per uh, per rifle company. And he's going to be really in charge of uh, the, the field training. He's going to be in charge of making sure all the assets and the ammo and the food and everything is being coordinated correctly uh, between the battalion and, uh, and stuff. And making sure everything's good within the company. All right, making sure we're all being fed and everything is being trained. Um, and that's uh, that's really what the gunny's gonna do. Oh man, I, I don't think I'll have enough time for uh, for officers in this video, but I think I think I'm explaining quick enough. Anyway, yeah. So gunny, uh, you can't you can't become friends with him, but he's gonna be nice. He's gonna be relaxed, just like the staff sergeant. Like they don't give a fuck about like if you know they don't they don't care anymore. They're cool. They're cool. Um, they don't care about like the the petty respect as uh, at, that the corporals and sergeants demand, and um, yeah, the gunny. I mean, uh, he really started off really cool in my experience. He started off really cool. He was nice to me, um, even as a private and a PFC. But uh, when it when when you start failing at your job, <laughs> like falling out of hikes, or uh, there's a lot of people who uh, who suck at shooting, um, even as riflemen. He'll start uh, hounding on them, and he'll start uh, just not liking them, and he'll make it very clear. And he'll uh, he'll really fuck with you. So in the field, he'll make you do uh, dumb things, and uh, um, yeah, I, I'll just leave it at that. It they're they're a lot like staff sergeants. Um, the next one is gonna be E8, which uh, there's a couple of ranks within uh, I think E7 as well, but E7, E8, E9. Um, there's a couple of ranks within them, but from my experience, the what I experienced with an E8 is first sergeant, and this guy is going to be in charge of the company, but he's also going to be, uh, he's in charge of all the Marines in the company, but he's also in charge of, like, coordinating the battalion to the company, while the gunny was really just company heavy. First sergeant, he's going to be, uh, you know, there's, like, four companies in a, in a unit, and he'll be sort of, you see how there's a lot of fours, all right? There's four staff sergeants. Uh, there's four gunnies in the unit. There's four first arms in the unit, and then it goes up from there. Um, but yeah, the first arm, uh, in my experience, he had an open door policy, so you could talk to him. You could, uh, you could become his friend. You couldn't. Um, I mean, he became friends with uh, some people. The gunny, especially, he he gets favorites. All right, he got. He, it, it, when we first started out, I was one of his favorites, but then I ended up uh, going downhill when I started failing things. So, um, is what it is. Yeah, first sergeant, uh, he'll, he'll make some favorites. Uh, he has an open door policy, so he will allow you to talk to him in private. But uh, he's, at least mine, he was a pogue, so he was he was uh, part of artillery. So when he became, uh, when he went into this whole uh, rifleman company, all right, this was his first rifleman company that he was leading, uh, he was really strict, okay? It was two hands on the weapon, in the field even. Um, it was uh, a cover on your head at all times, even in the field. Really heavy on uh, having no facial hair, even in the field. Like, just no hands in the pocket in the field. Like, when you're cold, it's like, what, dude? Like, come on, dude. Um, so he's, he's really strict. Uh, he's usually starting to get fatter at, as he becomes 40. <laughs> and, um, yeah, our, ours was in, like, for 20 years. Gunny's usually in for 15 or 16. Staff's starting usually 12. Um, yeah. But, uh, man, 14 minutes. Oh, I thought I could do this in six. Whatever. Whatever, I'm posting this one. <laughs> and uh, the last one, all right, because I'm not going to do officers, is Sergeant Major. And uh, this is E9. This guy, he's going to be in charge of the unit um, and the enlisted side of the unit. And he's going to be coordinating up to regiment, all right? Um, there's a couple battalions in a, in a regiment, and you see how that's going. Not not quite four, but yeah, and then it goes up from there. So he's coordinated from regiment to uh, to us, to battalion. And uh, this guy, he was he was really cool. They're really chill. Um, you see him very very uh, va like very. Uh, he's rare to see. All right, you'll see him like uh, two times a week. Once, just randomly, you'll be like, whoa, like I first aren't. 
<laughs> not high for sergeant. What you know? Good morning for sergeant or uh, sergeant major. Excuse me. Yeah, look at that. Any Marines here? If you <laughs> oh Jesus, can you imagine if I called the sergeant major first sergeant? That'd be crazy. Yeah. Uh, if you call anybody by the wrong rank, uh, you'll uh, you'll get fucked with. Um, they'll start yelling at you and stuff. But anyway, yeah, sergeant major, he's cool. Uh, you'll see him just randomly, and you'll be like, "Good morning, sergeant major," and he'll be like, "Good morning, motivator." You know, he'll be cool. He's really relaxed. And then uh, the second time you'll see him is uh, when you're trying to get off on liberty and like trying like, you know, your your day's done and you're just trying to get the weekend in, and he'll be like. Just making sly jokes and stuff, and you know, you know, just to the entire battalion. He's really cool. He's really chill, and he's usually like total badass. But he'll he'll you'll really get annoyed at him if he uh, if he just talks a lot when you're trying to get off on liberty. So you'll be forced to laugh at his jokes, but you're really just like, come on, I want to Skype my family and stuff. But <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, that's that's about it, guys. This video is 16 minutes, so. Uh, I am going to leave it off here. If you have any other other uh, questions or videos you want, I know the previous video, I, I took it off of a comment. Um, go ahead, comment. Like this video up if you, if you liked it. Let me know if uh, this is something you want to see. And besides that, I will talk to you guys later.